So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here right now to present you our 2010 model and I'd like to go into details a little bit of what is different to when I stopped and to what we have now. And one of the most significant difference is the front wing. If you look at the front wing, in particular this part here, we can change the angle of this part on both sides obviously and it's up to six degrees that you be able to alter the front wing up or down up to your liking but you can only do it once a lap that you choose a setting up or down for a specific corner but it's unfortunately not possible for each corner after this one we go a stage back and we look at the front tire and the front tire this year is a much narrower tire and the reason of this one is they want to reduce corner speeds and making the front tire smaller less contact fetch less grip but at the same time more critical the cars are more heavy we have a lot more fuel in the cars now so tires are a lot more critical issue particularly with the narrow front then we obviously have uh, a very small rear wing that in my days uh, was a little bit wider and sort of uh, more attractive you get used to it by by some time that it is what it is and it's obviously producing lots of uh, downforce in particular with all the aerodynamic features underneath the, the rear wing and that is the floor with the so-called diffuser which is now a double diffuser it was a big topic last year everybody has it now everybody has a much more redefined uh, version of this one and naturally a much higher performance then we come to the heart of the, of the car and that is underneath here, that is our engine. The Mercedes engine is probably, or if not, the best engine in the field. The lowest emission and uh, fuel consumption with the highest power and even more important, the best drivability. And therefore, I think we have a pretty good package and I hope you all cross the fingers for our season. Thank you.